How's it going everybody? This is Be The Bush. Do you find your kitchen packed with gadgets that you don't really need? Today I'm going to go over 10 different hacks that you can do so that you don't have to buy those gadgets at all. I was thinking about buying a thermal cooker and they're pretty expensive, about $60 to $100 each. Then I suddenly realized that my oven is a really good insulator. So what I can do is take a pot, boil it, put whatever that takes a really long time to cook such as potatoes, bring all this to a boil and turn off the heat. Heat up the oven to 350 degrees, put the whole pot inside and just close the door. After you wait an hour or so, your potatoes will be completely cooked without using all that extra energy to boil them. The second thing is a roasting pan for your oven. Instead of buying a dedicated pot, just put a dripping tray on the bottom, fill it with a little bit of water so that it doesn't burn. Then you can just roast whatever meat you want on the top rack. One of the items that I reviewed is this lemon squeezer. I tend to not really use this because all I have to do to squeeze a lemon is cut it into fourths and I just use my hand. It's really not that hard, it works perfectly and you don't have an extra thing that you have to wash after you're done with everything. The fourth thing is you might be tempted to buy a dedicated steamer to steam whatever that you want. What you can do is just combine a regular pot with a wire lifter and then just fill the bottom up with water and then it becomes a steamer. If you do not have a wire lifter, you can just use an inverted bowl. The fifth item is a pasta strainer. You actually do not really need a strainer. Yes, it would help a little bit, but in a pinch, you can actually use the lid of your pot. And if you get really good at this, you probably don't even need to buy a strainer at all. The sixth item is a microwavable food cover. Now these things are made out of plastic and for me, I'm not too comfortable with microwaving any plastic inside a microwave oven. But instead, it's just invert a plate on top of whatever bowl or plate and then off you go. You don't really need a cover. The seventh item is a garlic press. You actually do not need one of these because you can just use a knife and mince it really quick instead. The eighth item is an avocado cuber tool. Now you don't really need something like this because using a knife and cutting it down the middle and then using a spoon to scoop it all out does just as well. The ninth item is a dedicated deep fryer. Now you don't technically need something like this because all you need is a pot that's pretty tall and you fill it up with oil, then that becomes your deep fryer and all you need to do is a thermometer to make sure your oil gets to a certain temperature that you want. The tenth item is a tomato slicer. All it is, it's a thing with a guide for you to cut your tomatoes. You don't actually need something like this because all you really need is just a knife and a cutting board. So thanks for watching these 10 kitchen gadgets that you don't really need to buy. Don't forget to give me a like on this video, comment down below. Let me know if this helps you not buy those kitchen gadgets. If you're interested in supporting my channel, check out my Audible link down in the video description below where you can get a free audiobook. And if you don't like this audiobook or the subscription, you can cancel it and not owe a thing and you can still keep this audiobook for free. I also have a Patreon over here where I upload various perks such as inside information or spreadsheets that I've used in the past videos. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel over here and click that bell icon next to that subscribe button so that you get a new notification whenever I upload a brand new video. Thanks for watching.